pulling up to a grocery store in Kingsport, Tennessee, presidential candidate Newt Gingrich shook hands and stood with school children. The former Speaker of the House is running a distant third in the polls leading up to Super Tuesday. So the question is, is this Newt's last stand? If he doesn't take several southern states, can his campaign keep going? Well, we caught up with him and talked to him one-on-one. -on -one. If you happen to take uh, the South or states in the South, does that jumpstart your campaign, or is this uh, a two-man race between Santorum and Romney? Oh, I, I don't see how it can be. It strikes me that if you watch the last two weeks in Gallup, Santorum's coming down, I'm coming back up. I think the power of the ideas continues to resurrect my campaign, and I think we'll be back in the race uh, uh, with Romney within another couple of weeks. So I think, I think at some point in the next few years, you'll see it back below $2 again. Behind his latest effort to surge his numbers is a promise to bring the price of gasoline below $2.50. You, you speak about two fifty gas. In reality, how does that work? In, in reality, you, pump a, you, you develop a lot more wells, you pump a lot more oil, you have a much bigger supply, it outstrips demand, and it crashes. Look, look at natural gas. Happy birthday! With a crowd of supporters singing happy birthday to his wife, Callista, Gingrich and his campaign vowed to stay in the race, no matter what happens on Super Tuesday. I'm going to run an American campaign. And his relentless criticism of President Barack Obama remains a staple in his campaign speeches. Well, let me tell you, the apology I worry about is Barack Obama apologizing to religious fanatics while they're killing young Americans. With a substantial lead in his home state of Georgia, Gingrich may have the ability to take Tennessee as well. Super Tuesday is shaping up to be a day that may hold many surprises. Robert Ray, Associated Press, Kingsport, Tennessee.